Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another fun homeschooling video for you. It is a curriculum haul for the 2023-2024 school year and it is going to be all my picks for my third grader this school year. I have shared a bunch of curriculum hauls already on my channel. If you're looking for some really cool homeschooling ideas for this next school year, I have shared a lot of what we're using and I have more videos coming. So let's dive into all the things that I've picked for my third grader this school year. This is our fourth year homeschooling. I currently have eight kids that reside in my home. Um, we are a foster family, so that number does fluctuate. Um, I would say seven is probably a safer number right now because we do respite, which means we help other foster families um, intermittently. So we're doing that right now. So I have six kids that are homeschooling. Um, and those uh, six kids have been homeschooling for the last four years. So some did attend a, a public school um, and some of them have only homeschooled um, just based on the ages that they were when we started. So I am excited to dive into another year of homeschooling. I absolutely love homeschooling. So let's get to it. And I'm gonna share with you what we're using for third grade. So my third grader started, we started our homeschooling journey when she was in kindergarten. And we picked up the good and the beautiful in the beginning with her and that is when I got sold on the Good and the Beautiful curriculum because of how well she learned to read and to write and phonics and just everything. I felt like the Good and the Beautiful provided such a strong foundation for her as she's progressed to third grade and I absolutely will keep using it with her. Also caveat, I have seven kids home right now that are playing Smash Bros upstairs and they are having a riotous time so I promise the noises in the background are all good. <laughs> this is the only time I can film is when they have some electronic time so I apologize for the yelling and the shouting in the background because they're having a really good time. Um, so we are going to use the Good and the Beautiful math for third grade this year. We used it last year in second grade and I really liked it in her using it for second grade yet. Last year was the first year that we used the Good and the Beautiful math, and um, I just felt like it was a very well-rounded math program. I felt like she learned things, she grew, and it just did everything that I hoped for in a math program. I love that the Good and the Beautiful takes time to create beautiful products. It's silly, but I do love the beautiful, bright, colored art in the books. Um, I love that there are fun games incorporated with everything. There's review each lesson, but it's not overwhelming. We've used a couple different math programs before we settled on The Good and the Beautiful for a couple of my kids. And um, there's been math programs we've used where I felt like the review was just overkill and I don't feel that way with The Good and the Beautiful. So I like that it is teaching new concepts, laying strong foundations for building upon those concepts and reviewing what they've already learned so that they retain it throughout the year. So it's a really solid math program. I also really love that I think almost every math program for, I think it's like pre uh, K through fourth or fifth comes with a math box. And so the third grade curriculum is no different. It is, this is the box for third grade and it includes um, this array mat and a calendar. That's the other thing that they include a lot of practical things in the math program, such as calendar and dates and temperature and things like that. Um, it has some magnet shapes. It has a good and the beautiful measuring tape, which is so cute. It has some different die, some regular die, and some wooden dies with different things like measurements on them. And then they often have games for the kids to play, which I really love. And so there's two game pieces, so usually mom plays games with them um, when we do the games. So really love the Good and the Beautiful math. Um, it was an easy decision to keep using the Good and the Beautiful math this year. And once again, <laughs> Sorry, it's so loud in the background. Next up is English language arts. Once again, we will be using the Good and the Beautiful Math. This will be my technically fourth time using this. My twins used this the first year that we did homeschooling. And then my daughter, who's just a year under them, used it the next year. And I really love this third grade curriculum. I feel like 
it is a really solid English language arts curriculum for writing, for reading, for phonics. Um, there's history built in and beautiful stories and there's also beautiful paintings throughout the book um, that are just breathtaking, like really, really beautiful. So this I'm super familiar with. We will absolutely be using it again this year. Um, each lesson has some independent practice. As you can see for this lesson, there's a heavy reading component to it, which is not like in every lesson. And so there is independent practice. So I like that there is a component that they can do on their own. And then there's parts that we get to do together. One of the reasons I love homeschooling is because of the connections I get to make with my kids. And so it's just awesome. And there are also spelling words and they have fun practices for spelling. So like um, go to page 309 of the appendix to spell each word listed in your index card. And you get to sign them here. You get to do the sign language for them. And then you get to write them um, on these fun squiggly and decorated lines. So really love the third grade English language arts curriculum. I don't believe it also comes, I don't have it with me because I already have two copies of it. It's something by the sea. It's a poetry book. And I think poetry is a wonderful way to teach fluency in reading. And I love that The Good and the Beautiful includes poetry is as part of this third grade curriculum for the English language arts. And so they read a poem from the sign page um, pretty much every single day. And um, that's a fun part of the curriculum. I don't have it in front of me, but it's great. And then she'll also be using the handwriting from The Good and the Beautiful. Um, she's used this for the last going on four years now since she's been doing this since kindergarten. And I love that it is cursive. So this is just an easy win for her every day. I find that it's important for me to include things in my kids curriculum that they can do independently because it teaches them to work independently and it also gives them a sense of accomplishment like oh I can do that on my own without my mom's help because ultimately what I'm teaching my kids is to be independent learners. I want to work with them to build the foundations but I eventually want them to be able to do more on their own. Um, obviously I would always be available to help but with so many kids homeschooling Teaching them independence is great, and I feel like handwriting is kind of where we start with that. Because even my kindergarten kindergartner this year has his own um, handwriting curriculum through the, book, the Good and the Beautiful. It's like half of this, and he can do it without my help. And it's something I can say, okay, Hudson, go do your handwriting. And he can do it without me having to sit there with him to do it at this point in kindergarten. And um, it's a great way to start teaching independence in kids who are learning at home. That sums up all the items that I will be using for third grade this year. I am so excited to be homeschooling another year. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I upload videos every Thursday and I have lots more homeschool curriculum already on my channel and more coming. I also share homeschool organization and kind of how we set things up. We don't have a traditional school room because I really like the organic way of living and learning all in the same spaces. So we have lots of multi-purpose spaces, but I will be sharing kind of how we store and um, incorporate our homeschool supplies into our everyday life in future videos. So thanks so much for being here. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you next time.